there. I had to scrap a 50 minute uh, voiceover for this, uh, well, speed draw, I guess. Uh, I tried to edit it, but um, the program doesn't like me. Uh, so <laughs> I'm redoing it and I'm gonna edit this again, but I don't think we need more than like 15 minutes of uh, actual footage voice footage in this case for this video so i'm redoing it and hopefully we don't go to the 50 minutes mark so this is a character that i kind of wanted to draw he's a cute boy of course he is a cute boy you want to draw a cute boy and that's what how i felt but the thing with this character is that well he doesn't have a backstory really he he is a character from a universe that doesn't really exist anymore. So, yeah, he's not very interesting. The only thing I can kind of tell about him is that uh, I remember his name was Ray, so like with an uh, Y. While currently in my project, I have a character with the name Rai with an I. So like very similar names, very funny stuff. But this character is probably like... Uh, I don't want to say five years old, but like three years old, except, you know, sometimes you have OCs that are just always active. You have OCs that you work on through like a long time. This character, I just made him. I thought about him a little and then he was gone. Yeah, so I haven't got back to him in a long, 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 long time. And that's a shame because as I said, yeah, he's a cute, pretty boy. He has a very interesting facial structure and I believe this will look good in my current style and yeah so that's why I decided to draw him because I thought yeah he'll look very cool in my current style so just to say something I am totally not installing Windows Movie Maker right now yeah I know that that has to be really funny to you but I actually really like working with Windows Movie Maker. I am kind of experienced in it, you could say. Uh, back in my not even teenage days, I am in my teenage days, to be honest, still. Not long, but, but yes, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff in Mo Windows Movie Maker and I feel very comfortable with it. It's my, uh, you could say, my comfort space my comfort program. I know how to use it, so I am very comfortable using it. And that's why I'm right now uh, installing Windows Movie Maker on my Windows 11. I mean, Microsoft is not gonna stop me. <laughs> I found it, I'm installing it. I am gonna edit this whole video on it because yeah, I mean, I even did the, I don't know if any of the animatics are, I mean, yeah, the animatics are uh, on my, uh, on my YouTube channel, and they are all done with Windows Movie Maker. And I mean, you, you you might not be surprised because those animatics are pretty low quality. They're not the best. But yeah, I did them in Windows Movie Maker, which I don't know if it's good or bad. Is it an achievement? Probably not. I mean, everything I ever did, I did it in Windows Movie Maker. I'm gonna do it still. Wow, I talked really fast there for a second. Anything else I would w want to say about this drawing? Well. Well, I started to make very weird sounds and noises, so I don't think this is the right thing to do. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so about the little chin he has. I think we already oh, told you about the weird noises. Uh, yeah, so I do that little circle in the chin. It kind of helps me get the face right. It kind of helps me plan out where the mouth is. And rel relative to the mouth, you can also get the nose right so i mean i do kind of struggle in this drawing to get the facial proportions right because it is important where drawing like in this semi-realistic style i mean i do kind of i'm not sure if my current style goes as like semi-realistic but i guess it does let's say it kind of does sort of so yeah like in the semi-realistic style sort of and especially realistic as well you kind of have to get the face proportions right for the character to look like the character. So even if my old drawing isn't the best, 
it still has like passable facial proportions so there's not not like much i would need to change to actually have the character look right it's just about like fixing the proportions a little but staying true to the original so that the character looks like the character and he is a cute little shy boy i mean he was i think designed in mind with being kind of paranoid i think the eyes really sell that kind of paranoid kind of uh, scaredy not necessarily shy although i think later when i reused his design a little which i kind of did but that project also sort of got scrapped i mean not not scrapped but it just kind of lays in the corner untouched for some time already so yeah um other than that i was kind of unsure about the lighting source because let's be honest why i am not bad with shading per se i am kind of bad with light sources i do end up pillow shading shit almost all of the time so yeah uh, i decided the light comes from the front but i'm not sure how well that actually is i how well do i get it across which i possibly just don't i did also experiment li like with this side lighting but yeah i decided it also doesn't work so i just kind of went with the casual very like safety uh, uh that's not the word i want to use it's uh, the it's about the comfort zone again yeah it's about that i just did what i would normally do so like a comfort zone thing and i mean i think the drawing finally isn't that bad it's fine probably another thing i kind of wanted to touch on in the old uh, voiceover is that uh, when you draw after some time you kind of get this idea of when something is uneven I kind of at the beginning of the uh, of the speed paint turn the, the sketch around to get if the proportions are right if it's even I mean it doesn't have to be perfectly even when you are drawing a human face obviously it's not always even you have a lot of people who have uneven faces I don't have the most even face like one of my eyes is literally smaller than the other but yeah like to get it right to get like the proportions right to get the composition even because sometimes it's not about the proportions it's just that when you have too much of something on the other side it kind of looks bad that you don't have enough on the other side and that is what happens with hair a lot like the head just ends up looking weird because on the one side you have more hair than on the other and you kind of have to balance it out and yeah, it's like an ability that I got, especially because of fixing that hair problem, usually, of the balance in the drawing. I mean, he doesn't have much of that issue. Like, I did the little spikes on some part weren't feeling the best, and I kind of changed them, fixed them. But, yeah, um, finally, I did some somehow got everything to work together. I hope so, at least. And anything else i wanted to say oh yeah right so that windows movie maker situation uh, no apparently microsoft really doesn't want you to have a windows movie maker on any of the newer systems so i'm gonna be a very very stubborn person and i'm just gonna get all of my voiceover and the whole video on my disc and from that disc i'm gonna get it to my old laptop which has windows movie maker and that's where i'm gonna do all the work of editing it yeah uh, I assume we're probably like nearing the ending. This is nine minutes into the, well, into the, the voiceover, yeah. There's actually this funny little thing that I had to edit out a lot of mouth sounds. Like I do have the clicking problem when I record, not always, but like when I do actively try to talk, I do the lip clicking, the, the tongue clicking a lot. So I actually, uh, grown to realize how to uh, like recognize the mouth sounds in the voiceover recording how it how they look so i can cut them out i am obviously doing this for you i don't mind my i mean i do mind my did i just do it again yeah oh, and i did it again <laughs> i'm gonna cut that out you're not gonna hear it <laughs> But yeah, as I said, it's mostly for you. I don't mind it that much. I mean, it's kind of annoying. I do understand that. And that's why I'm editing it out. I'm also thinking of possibly recording like an ASMR draw with me kind of uh, speed paint. Except I don't think I'm the best person to do that. I don't have the 
I literally don't have the devices to do it. Like usually when people record that, they use like an outside camera somewhere like near their uh, drawing space, which is something I don't have. I mean, I could use my phone kind of like with the sketchbook tours that I did. And you probably know that the level, the, well, the quality of the recording isn't the best in my sketchbook tour videos. I mean, technically I have only one on my account, I think. The other one I think I have privated. And yeah, generally I am not the proudest of them, so I am not gonna use my phone to record anything else, I think. Although, yeah, as I said, the whole draw with me idea is still in my head. Although I do do <laughs> more digital drawing than I actually do physical, which might change because I guess this is a very bad place to reveal it, but I am officially an art student since like a couple days. So uh, yeah, I mean, I hope I'm not gonna hate it because I haven't haven't gone to school yet. Like I'm going in a week. I have some issues still that I have to work out that I'm a little stressed about. So yeah. I'm also like stressed like if I'm gonna like art school at all or not but yeah as I said I will probably do more physical art because of art school so maybe I will do those draw with me things maybe I'll make it work out somehow <laughs> and yeah I hope you like this drawing because I really hope we are reaching the end we are probably doing so so yeah if you watched this until now I don't know throw like a potato potato what uh, I, I mean, like, <laughs> throw, throw some fun emoji in the comments. Bots are gonna do that anyway, so I'm gonna think people watch me actually when they don't, but yeah, <laughs> sure. And I mean, leave a like or subscribe if you wanna hang around, and if you liked what I did, which, I, yeah, I hope anybody actually watches this, and the mouth sounds again, yeah. Thank you, bye, have a nice day, night, week, whatever. Hope you're doing well. Have fun with your art. <laughs>